Hi, I'm Mitch Casper, and I'm the father of a 16-year-old Anglican son from New Jersey. But I speak to you today from my position as a board of director member of the Angelman Syndrome Foundation. And I'm here representing the 10 other board of director members who span out across the country, but as a result of logistical reasons can't be here. As a member of the board of directors, quite frankly, today is my most proudest day. Wow. Angelman Syndrome Clinic at the prestigious Mass General Hospital, quite frankly, is a dream come true. The board would like to acknowledge the continued long-standing commitment to Angelman Syndrome individuals, and we thank Dr. Thiel, Dr. Fieber, and of course, Dr. Newmeyer, for all that you've done for the Angel Institute population. We also want to thank our staff back in Chicago, the hardworking folks at the Angel Syndrome Foundation, our executive director, Eileen, who spoke briefly. They're the straw that stirs the drink for us at the Angel Syndrome Foundation. Their work is unheralded, it goes on every day, and we thank them. But most importantly, I want to address the families that are here. Marianne, you're very courageous. Thank you for sharing your story with us. I know it's not easy to do because I've done it myself. You have my every admiration. You are an Angelman Syndrome ambassador, as well as all of the other families here. And I just want to put in a plug for our two big events in 2013. In May, we host our annual walkathon, where this year we hope to walk in approximately 30 cities across the country. So please grab a hold of the regional site, participate in our annual walkathon. It's our largest fundraiser. And as well, if you do anything for your Angelman individual, I will tell you this you should go to our conference in Orlando in July. Some families go as a vacation, some families go as couples. The point is, go. You will learn more in Orlando in a few short days than you ever will anywhere else. You know, we live in a time where, although there's been great medical and scientific achievements, the social consciousness towards challenged individuals has changed. And that's because of the people in this room. I'm going to close by circling back and reminding you that at the end of the day, I'm just the father of the 16-year-old Angelman individual. You give us great hope for Angelman's individuals and their futures, and you give me great hope for my son's future. Thank you for coming today, and thank you for all that you do. Thank you.